Alright, so I had a little break. I'm going to post the first half, and now we're back for... Well, post the first episode. So now we're back, just go listen. I'm with Kitsuragi. We should talk to him. Why not? Yes? Excuse Seems me. Seems to be following me. Detective, if I may be frank, you seem to be in a deranged state. You have trouble remembering things. You've misplaced your badge. I cannot let you act in the name of the RCM without supervision until you've regained control of your faculties. Fair enough. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizen Militia, is the police force you and Im are part of. A self-organized peace corps of the occupied city of Revachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if you didn't know this? Some you time? This is a police investigation, not a journey of self-discovery. You'll still have your evenings to yourself. Sounds good. A moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. Ah, I'm not going to tell him everything. Fuck the police. Okay, we're not the most popular. Well, I'm gonna go report my badge. Let me see. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery bearing the number 57. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that tore you from oblivion. The Kupris Kinema motor carriage. Kupris Kinema. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. A scent of leatherwork and heavy fuel oils washes over you. As you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if startled. It's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge is a red switch, labeled heat. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Translation. We're not going anywhere right now. Fair enough. The frequency tableau lights up and the green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Operating the radio is easy. Just be confident. You've probably done it a thousand times. Come in, Delta 10. This is Fireworker. Copy. This is Officer Alice Demetri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Under the green prime line, a yellow saved button catches your eye. You wonder what the lieutenant's default radio station is. Of course. What is the number, officer? Yes, hold on. Her number is 005. One nine four four two nine eight. Received. Hold on, officer. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. Yes, hello? 
Sounds like she's a million miles away, okay. All right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? No, not me. No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. Okay, two phones. So the Union has a phone. And there's one further down the coast. Got it. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. What? Of course it bothered me. But I thought the Union already knew about the court. Yeah, what's the Union? No one calls the police. The Union would uh, get angry. Makes sense. You know, what the Union says goes. People listen to them, and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Legally, no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the Dock Workers Union. Mm-hmm. Push her. I... I didn't want to get in trouble with the others. Push her further. Show her the error of her ways. The other people who live around here. Local people. I... You don't live here. You don't understand. What trouble? Tell me. Squealing is frowned upon here. Everything is dealt with, well, by the union. I'm going to have to Internal. talk to these union fucks. Please, they check out the body. I haven't even looked at it. I... I didn't know I had to report it. I... I thought someone would take him down eventually. I'm gonna keep pushing her. You can almost hear the girl getting smaller on the other end of the line until she Okay. You mean why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm You're not gonna not tell really me, comfortable eh? discussing it with you, sir. Why not? What? No, why would you even think that? Don't Please, be afraid of that, Don't Pete. bring Gar into this. It's none of your business. God, why can't you just mind your own business? She mutters. <laughs> I already said I don't want to talk about this. You're messing everything up again. Yeah, uh... I do hope so. Please, don't call me again. Bye. No, she doesn't have a problem with you. It must be someone else she's angry about. Some other guy. Like Gart. Trust me, you wouldn't want to be the guy here. You know how it is. Yak, yak, nag, nag. <laughs> no, you're the guy. Your lieutenant, <laughs> no, just transactional. Matchmaker, no, extra say that. Help the poor girl out, lest she yeah. turns into a spinster. How would it help? Maybe I could do with all this, without all this internalized misogyny. What misogyny? I'm just telling things the way they are. Can't a man be honest in his own head anymore? You have to act, Lieutenant Love. You have to calm that hysteric down. Tell it you've got everything under control. Then go and have a little boy's talk with God himself. Fuck yeah, I'm going to be talking to God, eh? Think you can do that, Lieutenant Love? I'm not going to refuse the love quest. No. What? I know, baby, I know. She got that sweet woman child thing that makes me. <laughs> you and Caddy are a little trouble on the set. Sound no more. Papa's got this big papa. God, what is happening in your head? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Please, just stay out of my life. 
Uh, I got a hunch the love life should take a very pleasant turn. What? What is it? Call was terminated by the other party. Anything else, officer? It's on. The love, the love quest, quest is on. Too late, everyone. It's on. It's on. <laughs> Take it to God now. Just a second, officer. Ten two, ten five. This is all just the radio call. That's all I've done so far. So yeah, if you're looking for a thrilling broadcast, but yeah, I think this is fun. The man uses relay code. You've got this. You're a cop. And ten cops four, station know forty one. Relay. Ten four, message received. Ten five, relay message. What's your status? Over. Just reporting. Ten eighteen, yeah. state your message, sir. Ten nine, over. Ten four, message received. This is a very serious situation. I need to ten twenty two the captain. Ten twenty two. This guy knows his codes. Is it him? What does he want? Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? He lost his badge. Uh, I'm gonna say nothing. Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? It's Officer Dick Mullen from the best seller, Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Dick Mullen is not your name. Ah. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Well, my mind called me Harry before, so I think my name's Harry. Defend yourself. Immediately. They're laughing at you. He says this has probably happened to other policemen before him and laughs uh, sarcastically. Oh god damn it! Is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Satellite officer Vicmar is wondering if you might be joking and adds that this tarnishes the reputation of the entire station. Over. Mullen dicked us! 10 for I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you are in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me! Mac, come here! You've got to hear this! Dick Mullen lost his badge! What's going on? Supercop here lost his badge. He lost his what now? His badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. He asked you to please stop saying he lost his badge. Why? Did he find it? <laughs> Sergeant Parson was wondering if you found your badge yet. Over. Um, you don't have a comeback. Sorry. It's hard to think like this. He's not replying. Looks like he's still looking for it. <laughs> Ten nine, come again. I didn't get that. Over. New heights even for Captain Sober. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him if he's lost his gun too. Oh no. Sergeant Orson wants to know if you lost your gun too. Over. Check your pockets. Check your... Holy fuck. You don't know where it is, do you? I have no idea where it is. No. It's gone. It's not fucking on you. 10-9, come in, officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun. Over. Even before you can get the words out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. Because <laughs> I didn't lose my fun. Chant. <laughs> he says he didn't lose his gun. Or his fun, whatever that means. Ask him to describe it. His gun! Not his fun! Just the gun will do! <laughs> Satellite officer McLean requests a description of your weapon. Over. It's a single shot kill A9. An armistice to be precise. Says it's a kill 9mm armistice. Armistice? What is he a fucking. Clearly he doesn't have his villier anymore. Dear God, he lost his gun? Oh, oh my, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. This isn't really a laughing matter. I know my gun is a Villiers. What's all these little cute clues picking up? Mac can face a giant of Coco Nur by himself, <laughs> but this go <go-hit>. here. <laughs> oh, I, I can't. Fuck. He lost his. 
As soon as he still got his wiener. <laughs> I'm not going to. Ask him. Oh. Sergeant Dorson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Over. I left uh, Eddie's mama after I fucked her ass all night. That's a negative. Not going to say that. Over. What's he saying? Share with the class. He, uh, he said he sodomized your mother. The prick ate Mama's vanilla waffles at the captain's birthday party. Some nerve he's got. <laughs> <laughs> sure her vanilla waffles were the only thing he ate? Shut up, Chester. This isn't funny. This is my mom we're talking about. Tell him to apologize right now. <laughs> Sergeant Dorson requests uh, that you apologize for the claims uh, you made about his mother. Well, you don't fuck with the firewalker. Like he says uh, you shouldn't have antagonized the firewalker in the first place. Who? <laughs> Satellite officer V. Um, I'm afraid he might be referring to himself as Firewater, sir. <laughs> Firewater? He's lost it. Fuck it, tell him to find his goddamn badge and gun. That's the only thing that matters. Satellite officer V. 10-4, affirmative. Officer in pursuit of his fire. Oh god, I. Ah. <laughs> Officer, do you need further assistance? Over. Ten four, I hear you. I don't have the authority to grant your request, but... What does he want now? He's asking for money. Is he fucking kidding? <laughs> I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. Right. Uh, that's a negative on the additional funds, sir. Over. He says he's in trouble, doesn't have a place to sleep. Well, I guess he'd better crack the case before sundown then. Uh, Vigmar said... He says it's important to the case. He isn't getting a red cent. You can tell... Request denied, sir. Over. Anything else, sir? Over. Uh, okay, 10 four, sir. Wait. Before you say anything stupid, think it through. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. 10 four, sir. I'm not hearing your question. That's a negative, sir. I got 10-12. Visitors present here. 10 -12. What? What is it? He wants to verify the information on his badge. But of course, it says Dick Mullen. High General of the Revachonian Cavalry Force. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Over. 10-9, repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over. Sir, I will not have you talk to me in this manner. Uh... What? What is it? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking... Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. Wrap it up. Don't indulge in his drunken antics. Understood, sir. Over. Roger that, 10 10. Over and out. The metallic drawer slides out from under the seat. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. The pry bar feels nice and cold in your hand. Heavier than you. Useful for opening all sorts of doors and lids. The handles are long and sleek. Snap, snap, go the cutters in your hand. Snap, you can snap. do good work with these. Cut is robust, weatherproof, and well made. Police issue. Blue lets you see things in the dark you would otherwise miss. The pull-out toolbox slides back into its nest. Preheat the white suede feels luxurious under the touch. And the metal clutch hand. Alright. Done with the tail. Let's go have a look at the body. set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. No, 
These tracks are not interesting at all. Let the street sweeper just sweep them away. Hard Damn. to say. Fire. Your vision is blurred and you're having difficulty concentrating thanks to your relentless cop habit. You this isn't case related. It is case related, I just failed the check. corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in, even through your clenched nostrils. Active decay. It's okay to throw up with his arm. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cock's gonna blow, Kuno! The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth. More instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Nice. I was worried we are going to lose the health you points. You feel a great so force ringing from one your morale, stomach. One your body there, curls so. and pushes it out. I don't want to die. Burst by burst. Until a pool of vomit lies under your feet and your throat stings from... The smell of Commodore Red rises from the pool. Among it, distilled spirit and bits of shish kebab. Keep it. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. There is Frit nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't, there's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have some... Mm, pretty clever. There he still is, looking right through you with his Drama. Maybe I'll go extra dot and visual calculus for now. Right here, what's this? Make a chief. I've got some tools. Conspicuous pile 
of the roofing material eat tonight. Because it's nice and orderly, well laid rhythmic pattern calms your mind. It's nothing. Glad you asked. Okay. Several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have maybe more than twelve. No, eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in them. One, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number forty six. Look at this. I'm super clever. Two, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number forty four. Three, hobnailed work boot. Steel reinforced toes, number 43. Four, standard work boot, number 45 or 46. Five, another standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 44. Six, an aberration, light as air, even pace, same make of boot, but number 41. Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gate is, you're not bad. It's as if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it. And the tracks burn in the middle of it in a strange, beautiful way. Visual calculus, fuck yeah. Seven, the glowing outline of a standard work boot, number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Ooh, big boy. Eight. And yet another standard work boot, number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The right sole is smoother, more worn. How many? I was pretty off then. I counted 20. This man is not easily toyed with. <laughs> I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? I do. A few things, actually. A woman? Or a kid? Understood. Anything else? 200? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon-to-be-dead man. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Maybe it wasn't. It could have been, but if it wasn't... Possibly, yes. <laughs> but why? Why do they have to carry him? Yes, they could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. You have a point there. Anyway, it's something to consider. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? <laughs> no, it's not. We're looking for a drama. We are not looking for a drama. We are looking for a drama. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. He doesn't seem to hear you. Looking south toward the traffic jam instead. Looking for a drama. The machine. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller, who reported... It is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashal. Seven days... Be Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. What do I think? 
A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Yes, everything fits so well. Carried him over, hoisted him up, watched him hang. This is easy. The lieutenant's eyes narrow. He's thinking to himself. Either way. What else? This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. Just a trash container? There is no such thing. Your fingers start to itch just looking at that padlock. Just a trash container. Your fingers start to itch. We could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage, oh. or... Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. He might also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says whirling in rags. Force time isn't happening. You've jammed the pry bar under the lid, but it just isn't bending. The quality of metal is not the problem. From what I see, it's sturdy enough. Let's ask the manager for the key. This is clearly if I keep going, I'll hurt myself. I don't want to hurt myself. I'm going to talk to these kids. Kuno's got this! If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Oh, yeah! Napa Goofy, Kuno! Can't talk, pig! Shit's coming up strong! Throwing rocks! Shit coming up strong. Shit that coming up good. strong. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. I you mean drugs. What now? The kid's on drugs. Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Kuno's riding at sea. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Fuck no! Kuno doesn't buy that shit! Fucking entrapment shit! Fast. This kid has got street smarts. The fuck are you talking about? He's calling us f Kuno! He says we're fucking each other! We shouldn't do anything. You will see. The language these kids are using. Alright. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got! The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. Yeah, like a fucking volcano. Yeah, yeah. You were lucky you didn't die there. F yeah. Kuno's got some advice for you. What are you? Like 80, right? Maybe you should stop embarrassing yourself in front of a fucking kid. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps you could compress this negative energy and turn it into some sort of a kunified non-vomiter. Uh... That's right. Turn your weaknesses into conceptual strengths. Try it again now. Kuno's Kuno, pig? It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the kid's using the third-person perspective as a shield. Yeah, 
Kuno's in a fucking gang. In a bang gang. Kuno bangs for Magie, bangs for Mazda, bangs for Revachol. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's going to put his hands on you! Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Right! <laughs> help! He's got the Kuno! Help! Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. Help! He's digging his dick out! Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You are pigs in there and Kuno! Somebody, please! How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. Fucking logical! <laughs> help! The logical pig is fiddling Kuno! Help! Misters, help! He's flashing Kuno! He's showing his genitals! If you don't help Kuno now, it'll be too late! Look f For emphasis. A ghost is saying this. A shit-eating psychopathic ghost with an ace up his sleeve. I fuck. know you wanted it's to not hit going me. Very well. You got that? I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look. The Kuno's dad gets. I'm the so murder confused look. By Kuno. The rage look. Relax. He can't read your mind. He doesn't know. There's a dead body. Remember, that's what you were doing here. You're a cop on a case. I can. Kuna can smell that violent shit. I know what you were thinking. I'm gonna fuck that Kuna up. I'm gonna shut his shit down. You're nothing. You're a joke to Kuno. Kuno laughs at you. King Kuno! Kuno turned you into his prison, bitch. You're gonna be in this shit with Kuno. No, you're not. We can just leave. Bitch, you in this shit with Kuno forever. A peepo is a type of hat, by the way. You don't talk to me about my fucking peepo. You don't know where I come from. You're just Kuno's bottom bitch. <laughs> okay, Kuno is kind to his bitch. Ask your questions, but remember, this changes shit. Click, 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 click. Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. Fuck do you... Look at that fucking shit. You're trying to get Kuno killed. Fuck does Kuno know? Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. The lieutenant takes a quick note well, in his notebook. Go up the ladder. It's a trap, Kuno! Don't climb it, Kuno! Dunno. Kip that's gardener used to work there. Kipped is a pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Eri Oppergeit descent. It used to be a common first name among the Eri Oppergeits of Ilmara. Not so much anymore. Look, Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. Yeah, her. What was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening? is done in fish is sometimes used to fertilize the soil a few weeks before planting something. Maybe she was preparing the garden beds. Yes, it seems suspicious. You don't like things being like that. Suspicious. Don't be wondering about Kuno's shit, pig. Trash container. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Why the fuck are you telling this shit to Kuno? That's just some shit roofing gimps left behind, lazy. He's hiding something. Pig, if Kuno was hiding something, it would be hidden. But it is not hidden, is it, sire? You picked up on it. You should examine the pile of roofing material again. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Shitload, pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno! This is where you quickly ask him questions. Real cop questions. L Kuno's fuck him. Kuno uses the fuck him for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Kuno's not a snitch, that's all. Trying to make the Kuno sing into the popo phone. Kuno's fuck him. 
He's trying to hide. Kuno knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch, that's all. Trying to make just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. You heard Kuno? Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. I don't know. Some fucking... Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. Well, Thanks, I think you Kuno. Did, Kuno. That's one name you can now cross off the list. <laughs> You're testing Kuno. Get lost, f Yeah, the king. Yeah, whatever. The fuck about it. You're testing. Get lost, f He's on your crime scene, bossing you around. And he's been here for some time, too. This is where he hangs out. You have to get more out of him. He could be useful. Trying to fuck at the Kuno! Trying to fuck at me! Trying to fuck! Kuno only gets higher! It's faster, faster, faster! Can't take the Kuno! Stay out of the reactor! Kuno gonna fuck you up! Normal is not what we got here. You've got to work with what- Kuno doesn't fucking care! Pretty funny. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me! Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno! Pig's come to take me in! I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno! Going away for life! What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? You don't want to fuck with me. I got my hands bloody. I'm not here, pig. You're not seeing this. You can still see the top of her hat from behind the fence. I'll die before I squeal, pig. Stay away from me, pig. I'll die before I... I come from the woods, good David. You don't want to go... Don't be traumatizing here. Get... I'll die before I squeal. What's this kid shit? Fucking mind. Get the fuck out of here. So it's a girl. Interesting. I'll die before I squeal. Murder was the case. Was the case they gave me. Fuck, does Kuno care? Kuno doesn't... Inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of Etonite. That's... There it is. You see a shabby little door. What is this, then? A tool shed? Happy magnesium rich life. Get out of the way or get fucked up. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. There's a good, vague way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. No, I'm just uh, a regular make you detective. A Thank really, you really good detective. Uh, Perhaps not. 
This is below our pay grade, detective. However, see that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? A secret path the local kids use. Someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely see a white rectangle on its back. Yes, it's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. The cloak? I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it... Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. The cloak looks like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. The wind is aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at the enormous crane towering in the distance, over the container yard. That machine is a Kvalsund 1020 HK. The Kvalsund 1020 HK! Is it? Qualsun makes a lot of heavy equipment, but this is phenomenal, even for them. But I digress. We were focusing on your cloak here. What are we doing? We're awfully close to breaking, or it could be that we are just exploring. Uh-oh. I have to go for it. Nope, no, that's still too high. What were you thinking? You're not a gymnast, you're a boxer, and you've climbed way too You could have died there. Shit, 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 shit. I'm failing you. This wasn't part of our deal. Oh shit, I don't want to die from morale, death. Hey, hey, what happened? I understand. We can always come back when you are feeling better. It's just a cloak after all. Too much for me, wasn't it? Try to. The second time, not so much. When the vomiting is done, your cheeks are wet with tears.
Get a hold of yourself. I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday is cadaver day. Throw up, investigate. Throw up, initial autopsy. Throw up, baguette. Then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there, if you didn't bag the thing tight. I think I've lost my sense of smell. A white lie. Not being hungover helps too. No. This is a two-man assignment, because it needs two officers to, to complete. I'm not trying you to need to get your shit together. No, it's not, officer. We Ooh. should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while oh, the wind changes. Shit compressor. It's pretty, give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. years how the fuck did you get in shit get the fuck out of here you can't do that you can't do that kuno pigs can't displace can't do that teleport shit how did you like it in there pig old boy kuno's got a lot of cool shit there right that's where kuno gets his daily hit of electric kuno shazam kuno rides the fucking lightning in there pig <laughs> bet you'd like to ride the lightning too wouldn't you? You feel... Oh, that? Kuno decapitates pigs? That's just a Kuno demo tape. What? Eh... Uh, what is this shit? Fucking... on your set? Fuck your shit back to normal! What is this? Well played. No one saw that coming. <laughs> it's a vitamin, pig. Don't you know anything? You could use some. Yeah, it's the Mac. You fucking need that shit to stay on top of your game. Kuno goes through like a tube a day, rips mad loves, like a loves motherfucker. Loves the Mac, rips mad like a motherfucker. A oh, don't teach him, Kuno. He's gonna use it again. You're not getting this pig. It completely takes away the hangover. It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo choo. Fuck you, pig. Don't do Mac. You're gonna OD and you're gonna fucking die. Is it? You got pretty fucked. Kuno surprised you've still got your head after all that. Don't sweat it, drunk pig. Kuno will keep your nasty secrets. He's saying you climbed up there. He probably saw you do it. Yet, yeah, that conclusively explains how the coke got up there. Of course you fucking can. How do you think Kuno made all the docky boys his gimps? Just gotta fly, pig. Kuno knows. Kuno and C saw you shit yourself. It's okay, pig. That's all there is to it, then. Don't be a pansy. Just jump. Good call, Pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuno about his kingdom. What's going on? He's an ungovernable youth. Like you don't have enough on your plate. You feel a sudden sur- Take the pain, fucko! Take the bad! Smelling weakness. Where that see? Porker wants to talk about. Don't let him move in with us. You have no idea what to say now. Kuno doesn't. What went on with this kid? My inner monologue said I had to fucking just go for it. The tarpaulin cloak with possible RCM markings is still caught on the railing.
No, no. That's still... Sure. Just be careful, okay? Looks like you're... Damn, still couldn't make it. Alright, uh, well, I'm going to have to stop for now and I'll have to try to work out how to get my cloak next episode. And who knows what will be in the cloak pocket. It could be clues. But yeah, that was the car and the body. Volumetric shit compressor. Thanks for watching. Thank you.